I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R730 server. Specifically in this video we're going to focus on power supply options. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R730 server. Do us a favor if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. Well, this will honestly probably be the quickest video in our series. This is about the uh, different power supply options. We're going to show you how to replace it. Uh, really, honestly, it's pretty simple overall. There's uh, three different options. There's the 495 watt, there's the 750 watt, and there's 1100 watt. Uh, the main thing you really need to look out for is that there are 110 volt and uh, 220 volt setups. Uh, depending on the connection that you have at your data center, you might only uh, be able to support a 110 volt connection. And if you get a 220 volt power supply, then all of a sudden you think you have a dead server. No, it's just that it's actually the wrong power supply for your connection. Um, so there's one thing that I always tell people because we have seen people run into that situation thinking that they just basically have a bad box and it's just really the wrong power supply for their setup. Um, outside of that, it's a, it's a pretty simple video. Uh, we're going to show you how to remove it, uh, but these are hot swap. Uh, so it's a really just simple uh, replacement process. Yes, you can replace it while the server is running and live. Uh, that is why it's called hot swap. Um, outside of that, that's about it for this video. Uh, we'll show you how to replace it right now. All right, wanted to show you real quick the different options. Here's your 495, your 750, 1100. Uh, really, they all look the same, all fit the same, all, you know, very much the same, just different wattages. So those are your different options. And as we discussed, just be beware of the uh, 110 volt versus uh, 220 volt. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to actually pop it in right now. All right, so you can see we currently have two 1100 watts in here, so you want to match them and you want to have the uh, the same wattage. So assuming, let's just say this was the bad one right here, um, you'd want to just simply push this in, pull it out, uh, they'll slide right out, very easy. Uh, you take your next one and you slide it right in. Uh, it's a very, very easy process. Uh, probably the easiest upgrade you'll ever do in your life. Now, uh, thanks for stopping by. If you're looking to upgrade uh, your R730, you need some power supplies, you're looking to build your own R730, please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. If you made it this far, do us a favor. Click that like, smash that subscribe. Take care. Thanks for stopping by.